How good is that? Hey, my name is Ross Campbell. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're analysing the playing style of the legend that is Derek Trucks. When I got my hands on this beautiful new D'Angelico Premier DC, that was the moment I decided, okay, I'm gonna make a Derek Trucks video because this instrument has inspired me to play more slide guitar, which is something that I used to practice quite a lot, but not so much in recent years. Anyway, this guitar is set up with an action that is just high enough that makes it comfortable for both slide and regular playing. For this lesson, I'm going to be in open E tuning, which is what Derek plays in almost exclusively. If you're in E standard, all you need to do is tune your A and D strings up by a tone and your G string up by a semitone. From low to high, this gives you E, B, E, G sharp, B, E, which you should recognize as the sound of an open E chord. When it comes to slide guitar players, Derek Trucks is particularly hard to emulate, and in my personal opinion, this is due to the way in which he chooses to play many of his licks and phrases. A lot of open tuning slide players play licks that are based around one small area of the fretboard. They slide in and out of notes on frets that are close together, and they often bar multiple notes together. Here's an example of what I mean by that. We hear licks like that so often due to the nature of these open tunings that slide players tend to use. These tunings allow you to play an entire chord on one fret. For example, what you just heard was a blues lick in D that was based around the 10th fret. So listen to me strum every note on the 10th fret. That's what you would normally recognise as a D major bar chord if you were in E standard. But the notes on fret 12 on the A and D strings and the note at fret 11 on the G string, those are all now consolidated to fret 10 because we're in open E and we've tuned those strings up. So it's really easy to create licks in that position because your main chord tones, the root 3rd and 5th, are all in that one area of the fretboard, they're all on the same fret. Derek will sometimes play licks like that, but going back to what I said earlier about the reason it's so hard to emulate his specific sound, what he also does that is unique to his playing style is he will take parts of licks or phrases and play them entirely on one string. Let's listen to the lick that I played earlier once again. Now here's something similar to what Derek might do with a lick like that. Or he might take more of a minor pentatonic approach to that same lick. So what's happening there is you're taking the first phrase of that barred slide lick and you're consolidating all of those notes to the B string alone, like so. And the notes that I'm playing there, whether it's the single string version, or the barred version, Those notes are derived from the D major pentatonic scale, so those are D major pentatonic phrases. But you could also take more of a minor pentatonic approach to the start of that lick, which is something that Derek does often. Like a lot of blues guys, he, he also mixes pentatonic scales 
with the same root note. For example, D major pentatonic and D minor pentatonic, he will play both of those scales and weave between them in his solos. So here's what you know Derek's minor pentatonic interpretation of that might sound like. Hear the difference there? Here's the minor pentatonic version again. And the major pentatonic version. I personally prefer the minor pentatonic sound for this lick, so I'm going to stick with that for the first part, but you can finish the lick like this. This isn't how I would actually play it, but just for your benefit, I'm going to pick each note. So towards the end of that lick, we are obviously implementing some of those traditional blues uh, barred slide licks. Right, we're letting multiple strings ring out there. So we are keeping some of that traditional blues slide lick uh, sound in there, but the single string run at the start of the lick gives it more of a unique vibe and prevents it from sounding too cliche. One more time, let's listen to the difference between the two approaches. First, the barred version, which we started with. And the single string version. Now, in case any of you are wondering, the reason why I'm able to switch between D major pentatonic and D minor pentatonic is because when you're soloing over a blues progression, a regular blues progression that uses major or dominant seventh chords, the best scale to use, I often find, is mixolydian. Now, mixolydian is the fifth mode of the major scale, but another way to look at it, if you don't understand modes, is simply the combination of a major pentatonic scale and a minor pentatonic scale with the same root note. For example, combining D major pentatonic with the notes of D minor pentatonic. The scale formula for mixolydian is one, two, three, four, five, six, flat, seven. The scale formula for the major pentatonic scale is one, two, three, five, six. And the scale formula for the minor pentatonic scale is one flat, three, four, five, flat, seven. When you combine those two scales, you basically get mixolydian, but with a major third and a flat third. This combination of pentatonic scales and their relationship with mixolydian is something that I've talked about on my channel before, but if you really want to get to grips with it and understand how to use these scales in your improvisational playing, then check out the links in the description box below for my online guitar courses, Bulletproof Guitar Player. Now I said earlier that it's particularly hard to emulate Derek's playing style because of those single string slide runs. And some of you might be wondering why, because let's face it, they don't sound like the most technically challenging thing to play on guitar. But if you've never attempted to play slide guitar before, trust me, you're gonna have a hard time intonating each of those notes and jumping between them perfectly. Playing these types of licks at the speed that Derek would is a real challenge, trust me on that. And that's what I find so impressive about his playing. Well, it's one of the many things that I find impressive about his playing style. You've got these huge leaps between frets that you know are, are happening at the speed of light. <laughs> And it's really hard to get the intonation just right on each of those notes. And that's something that Derek just does perfectly. He latches on to these notes um, in a way where the, the intonation is almost perfect every time. So what I would suggest practicing to improve your intonation when moving between notes of a scale on one string at a time is to do just that. Take mixolydian, the major scale, the major pentatonic, the minor pentatonic, any scale you want, take it and map it out on each of the six strings and practice moving up and down the notes of that scale on one string at a time in multiple different ways, like so.
If you're interested in the tone that I got for this video, I was using two Vertex drive pedals, the Steel String and the Ultraphonics. Those were followed by the Strymon Blue Sky and all of those pedals were running into the Moore Audio preamp live, recorded direct into my Universal Audio Apollo Twin interface. The guitar is the new D'Angelico Premier DC. Everything is stock and it's strung up with Ernie Ball Ultra Slinkies. The lick I taught you earlier was one that I heard Derek play in what has to be my favourite guitar solo of all time. And yes, I do mean all time, my favourite solo played by any guitar player ever. In fact, any musician ever. So the Tedeschi Trucks Band, they do this incredible live version of The Sky Is Crying, which is a famous blues song. And there's a particular video of them playing this at Red Rocks in 2012, which I have watched countless times simply because of Derek's solo. It is magnificent. I think that might be the first time I've ever used the word magnificent. But anyway, it literally gives me goosebumps every time that this solo reaches its climax. So we're going to watch some of it together because I want you guys to see the master himself using these single string slide runs in this incredible solo. And YouTube, please recognize this as fair use. I'm not trying to steal money from anyone. I'm just trying to promote one of my favorite bands, one of my favorite guitar players. Hope that works. All right, so we're not gonna take a listen to the entire solo because I don't want this video to be too long and you guys can always go and watch it later. If you so wish, I'll put a link in the description box below but let's just take a listen to certain parts and um, yeah, look for any of those single string slide runs. <laughs> right there. Let's listen to that again. Okay, I'm going to skip it along to the bit where it really gets cooking and this is what I'm talking about when it when it comes to the climax of the solo. There's a very clear point at which the dynamics just reach a certain level where this is the bit that that makes my, my hair stand up. Starting around here. Starting to build. Ah, oh, sorry for the funny faces. Actually, no, I'm not sorry at all because, man, yeah, just incredible. Everyone talks about, you know, how they wished they could have seen Jimi Hendrix or, or Stevie Ray Vaughan or, you know, whoever, you know, in incredible uh, guitar player that may no longer be with us, but we live in the same timeline as, as Derek Trucks. 
we have our own guitar heroes who are alive today and, and still playing shows, fortunately. So if you get the chance to go and see to the Tedeschi Trucks band, then absolutely go and do it. That does it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed already and if you feel like supporting the free content that I'm making for this channel it would really mean a lot to me if you could take a few seconds out of your day to like this video and share it with your guitar playing friends on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram and if you like please do post a video to Instagram of you playing the Derek Trucks lick that I taught you in this video. And if you decide to do that, if you're comfortable doing that, um, please do tag me in the post so I can see it. I'd love to see you guys try this one out. But anyway, thank you again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.